Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the new Etude House Color Contour Duo Sticks. Um, now the idea behind this, of course, is color correcting. If you don't know what color correcting is, it's where you apply, I guess, concealers or whatever to certain areas of your face, like in an opposite color, in order to neutralize the color in your face. So, for example, dark circles are usually uh, more blue, so you'll add something of a pink salmon color so that you can cancel out the blue. So, um, Etude House, as a part of their Play 101 sticks, um, if you're familiar with their, uh, their, what are they, oh my god, yeah, look at that. Their contour duo sticks, the one where it's like a contour and then a highlight. This is under the same, like, concept with, like, the portable sort of stick thing, but these are double-ended color correcting duos. Now, I feel like this is a little bit late to be bringing these into the game because I feel like contouring was more of a thing in the summer. I think it was like the summer of this year? Or 2016, I'm sorry, it's 2017 now. And when I think of color correcting, I think of these sorts of colors. You got your green to, you know, for redness, um, salmon for under the eyes, and then purple for like, I guess like brightening, uh, like basically where you put your highlight colors. But on the other end, it's these colors with like, maybe the yellow. Yellow I've seen for like, I don't know, under the eyes, I guess. But this feels like, I don't know, it almost feels really random. Like, like on one side you have your general uh, color correcting side, but the other side I feel like they just put some random color on there. And to be honest, they have like a little diagram on the back here that shows where you're supposed to put it. But if you watch the Etude House like video where it shows where Pony is um, demonstrating where to put it, it's like different places as opposed to the bus. So I guess number one is meant for dark circle coverage. Number two is meant for covering redness. And number three is targeted towards like dull skin, although I don't know, I really don't know what dull skin is. So we're just gonna try this out and we'll see how it goes under foundation because uh, my biggest worry is that, because the thing is if you've seen, you've been on my channel for a while, um, I've talked about these sticks before and they're not exactly my favorite formula of like cream contour sticks because they're a little bit greasy and uh, I'm not about that greasy in life. Because I feel like if it's just gonna quickly rub off because of like the greasiness of the product, like what is the point in putting it on? So hopefully it does something for the skin. And the main goal in mind is that it will allow us to use less base products. So um, all the targets of like concern are already slightly pre-concealed uh, before foundation. So you end up using less foundation. Or even from the video, it looks like you didn't even use foundation. It seems like she just got away with using these, but then again, pony skin is already good, so we'll try it on my not-so-great skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna copy what she has on her video demonstration, because I feel like it makes more sense. To get an idea of the sort of um, consistency, this is number one. Yeah, it's it's kind of greasy like um, and patchy, like I was imagining, but it's really smooth. And it seems like when you blend it out, it seems pretty. Con uh, the consistency pr seems pretty nice. Really thin though, so I'm kind of worried as to what. Maybe the yellow one you can get tell a little bit better. Um, it's blending pretty nice, actually, on the skin. Okay, so we're gonna apply the salmon color under the dark circles or on top of the dark circles. Oh. What do you know? That's actually pretty- I mean, of course I haven't blended it out yet, but it seems pretty decent in, like, in terms of effectiveness. Because just from here, it seems like it's already canceling out the color. Now I'm gonna take the yellow side, and I feel like on the other side, like, you have like your main side, I guess, and like on the other side it always says that it's for like dullness, but I really don't know what dullness is on the skin, so in the video she put it around here. And also on the inner corner. All right, now time for number, I think this is number two, right? Yeah, this is number two. This is meant for redness. Of course, you got your green, which is, I feel like a lot of people, uh, when it comes to color contouring, they know green, like especially with primers as well. And the green one, again, when you just put it on with the stick, it seems kind of patchy, but when you blend it out, it's really smooth. So that's a good, oh my God, I'm not even focused, sorry. Now the blue, the blue one I really am confused by, like I've never seen a blue like contour, uh, not contour, but blue color correcting product. But again, the consistency is really nice actually. My expectations are too high for this, to be honest. So hopefully, you know, if it is good, then oh my gosh, that's a good thing. 
feel like sometimes we expect everything to turn out badly, but if this can be a good product, then great. So my redness, which is actually my main concern, is like around here. I have a lot of redness. And actually up into here, I have redness. I'm gonna put it there as well, even though she only has it really on her um, cheek. Like on the center. And I'll even put it around her nose. Because I feel like most people have redness around their nose. Oh shit, you know what I forgot to put? I forgot to put the yellow down the bridge of my nose. That's what she did. I guess it's in a sort of highlightery sort of way. And then the blue, she of course again puts it in the dull areas. Um, for me, my forehead, I don't know if you, you probably can't tell on camera, but my forehead is kind of darker than the rest of my face. So let's try putting it here because she has it there. And it's supposed to like brighten that area, I suppose. It probably won't matter because my bangs are gonna cover it. And then she put it on her chin. I don't know why she put it there, to be honest. And then last but not least, we've got number three. This one is for dullness. We've got the pink side. Very bright bubblegum pink, actually. And then we've got the purple side. The lavender, I'm sorry. And this one I've seen, like this sort of color for color correct thing. Um, I've seen a lot of people put it on like areas of, like actually at the top of the cheekbone. So in the video, she's showing that she puts it under here, I guess to, cause um, like in Western makeup, the trend is more to give yourself like the cheekbones. Uh, but here they kind of like the look of um, more plumped out cheeks. So apparently if you put it here, it will help make your face look more uh, plump. I suppose. Also, on the smile lines, which is what I have, right here, I guess? I know I've seen many makeup artists and things put concealer on like the sides of the mouth. I never really do that that often because I don't feel like I need to do it, but I know on some other people that have darkness around the mouth, they, they might like to do it. And then she put it down the center of the forehead. I'll be completely honest with you, I feel like this one is the most useless out of all three. Cause if you're just putting these in like areas of dullness, the other sticks have colors that you can use for areas of dullness. All right, now it's time to blend these hoes out. I'm gonna use this brush that actually came out with the any cushion, the filter cushion. Uh, but I think they came out with another brush for these sticks, but these are honestly, they all look very similar. And I think this is Good enough for this sort of blending or what we need to do. Let me do one side. Let me start blending this out. Oh lord. Okay. I have to be honest with you. If you saw my vlog where I did um where I got the Troy peel and I said my skin was gonna be peeling for the next few days, I think it's still peeling. Um it's been like what four days since then, but uh-oh. Okay, let's ignore like the small micro peeled skin. It's blending out pretty nicely. It's really smooth. As you can see, that blue is really blue. Of course, it'll be really great if we blend these out um, in color correct. However, if it's gonna make my skin well, no. I was I was about to say if it's gonna make my skin look like green or whatever color it is, whatever color it is, it shouldn't matter because I'm gonna put foundation over on top anyway. But for those of you that would want to use this as like just alone, like she did in the video, I think I really feel like she put foundation on after, um, just for like purposes of the video. But if it's gonna be where Etude House is like, oh, you don't need to put foundation on after this, then I don't know if it's gonna really make your skin look purple or blue or whatever. But right now. My first impression, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I don't know if it actually is neutralizing the colors on my skin. To some extent, it color corrected the redness, I suppose. However, oh my god, it looks... Do you see this? It is so dry, I'm so sorry. Please ignore that. But that is a result of the skin treatment that I got, but overall, if you ever saw, if you saw that video that I did of like trying weird cushions, there was that color correcting cushion that I got. It gave me like that sunscreen sort of a look. This is kind of giving me that sunscreen look. I don't know if that's it neutralizing my skin tone. All the colors seem to be blending out into like the same pale sort of color. And that's the thing about these um, colors that they're, that they put in these sticks. They're all very white based. 
And so I think these would be suited more towards people with paler skin. Um, if you have deeper skin, this is obviously a no-go. If you want to color correct with deeper skin, you would like need to use much richer, more vibrant colors. Like, that. You, there was that point in time on YouTube where everyone was like, using the red lipstick on their eyes. That makes sense for people with deeper skin tones. So in that sense, you would need something much deeper. But the overall effect, it's not too bad. I guess? But I would definitely need to put foundation on top of this because this is not cute right now. I'm so pale. Honestly, you could probably get away with even one of these sticks. Because I don't think, for the most part, from just my guess, I feel like not every person needs every stick. Because that's under the, that's assuming that you have like every sort of skin issue that these color correctors are aiming to target. Uh, I feel like my main concern- oh my god. That just looks like- all right, so more than anything, it's, I don't feel like it's greasy because it's really smooth. It blended out really nice. I don't know if it's the, the dry skin that it, that's getting me, but it's on the verge almost of like looking like makeup. On the verge. It's not there yet. But I, oh my God. <laughs> I'm going back to the nightmares of like, you know, like your foundation is too light for you. If I put foundation on top and it looks just as bad, like in, like it doesn't match my neck then. Um, I will, I'll put like bronze or something, but so far, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, now that I've blended out my dark circles, I feel like aren't really that concealed. My overall face just looks brighter only in the sense that it just looks paler. <gasps> so I don't know, I mean it looks re less red. It looks less red, the, the green one was really nice. I'm just gonna put foundation on top now because uh, this is really pissing me off. I'm gonna use a really yellow foundation because I feel like it will maybe counterbalance the whiteness a little bit. One other concern actually is that if this is going under my foundation, wouldn't it like mess with the longevity and wear of my foundation? That's something I would need to worry about, actually. Oh lord. People are gonna come after me about my foundation color again. I'm like triggered right now. I'm triggered. My forehead is still looking a little blue. Um, that's not okay. Oh shit. But I'm putting my bangs on top. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so first impressions, um, I had to add, uh, what, what did I add? I added a lot of powder only because I needed to fix the fact that it was so pale looking on me, um, but that fixed it. I noticed I did use less foundation actually, so in terms of like, does it look cakey on my face? Not really, um, after you know I really use, I use HG powder, um, I use a setting spray and everything. I do think that this might not work very well on Maybe people with dry skin that have like a lot of um, dry patches because I mean you would need to take care of that first and then you might be fine but other than that this is how my skin is looking in natural daylight doesn't really look any different from how I would how it would look with like if I didn't use it I guess I suppose since I blended it in really well it might be looking a little dry because of my skin is peeling um, but for me in person it looks fine now after I blended it in and used my powder and everything. The only issue I had, I guess, was the fact that it made me look really pale. But I guess that comes with the fact that it's like neutralizing the color. Um, I don't expect it to like turn into like a skin tone color after like, I don't expect like a red area of my face to turn like beige and skin, beige or skin tone in color after just color corrected. I can understand that, you know, once the redness is gone, I guess it would be like a very, not pale, but it's just like, not a natural skin tone color, if that makes sense. So it's just a matter of uh, making sure your foundation, maybe you might even want to go so far as to go a step darker, maybe half in shade, or you know, just use a powder that will uh, suit your skin tone and you can just go over that or, you know, bronze up. I don't think this is necessarily a, like something you need. Maybe the green one, the green one works really well, but other than that, the rest of it, after I did like the contour and and everything, it didn't really make that much of a difference because the other ones are more used for like brightening dull areas. <laughs> Again, I don't know what that means. But if you do and you happen to have that, then I would recommend it, I suppose. The dark circle thing, I feel like you can still hear my dark circles. Not that big of a deal for me because I'm used to still seeing this much dark circle anyway. But if I don't need to take that extra step, I don't feel like I would. If I really wanted to cover my dark circles, I would just use the concealer that I always use. But overall, I feel like the main thing that really made a difference was the green one. Everything else I feel like was just for shits and giggles, you know what I mean? Hi, uh, this is a random clip that I'm doing after the day I tested these sticks. Uh, but I wanted to just mention that I wore 
the uh, I had that makeup on for a, quite a long time. I came home really late, and surprisingly, it didn't affect the way that my base looked. I was I was like, wow, my although my skin my skin was I, and the fact that you know it's winter now in Korea and it's much drier outside, um, like the air. But like it didn't make my base greasy. It didn't like affect it like in a terrible way. Like my base looked the way it looked. It would look normally even if I didn't use the stick so that's pretty good I don't know if it's just because I'm using a foundation that I know works really well by itself anyway I enjoy the fact that it doesn't fuck up my base basically is what I'm trying to say I think as long as you're only using a little bit then it really blends out into like a really thin layer that I'm, that won't just be like inter being like a layer of makeup that will interfere I guess with the rest of your makeup does that make sense I still think it's a little unnecessary to be honest with you um, just use a good concealer if you are one of those people that doesn't really have blemishes or spots And it's more like areas of discoloration you can use you can probably use them under your normal base So, you know, you end up using less base or whatever. But yeah, that's what that's how I feel about them They're not they're not that bad. They're not that bad They just don't come across to me as products like oh shit I must have these because then again, I wasn't expecting that at all from the beginning I'm, I'm just I'm just testing them for you guys. So that was my little mini review on the new color correcting ones. Um, if you're interested in them, I'll link them down below or I'll try to find a link for you. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.